Who is Steve Jobs? February 24th, 1955. Birthday. Steve Jobs is born to Joanne Carol Scheibel and Abdul Fattah Jandali in San Francisco. He was soon given up for adoption, making Clara and Paul Jobs his adoptive parents. January 1st, 1970. Meets Steve Wozniak. This is the year when Steve Jobs met Steve Wozniak. They instantly became great friends, even though there was a four-year age gap. April 1st, 1976. Apple Computer Company is founded. Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne co-found Apple Computer Incorporated. The company had a record-setting public stock offering in 1981 and made the Fortune 500 list in 1983. June 5th, 1977, the Apple II computer is released. Steve Jobs' company releases the Apple II computer, which was the first available personal computer in a plastic case with color graphics. May 17, 1978, Jobs' first daughter. Steve's ex-girlfriend, Chris Ann Brenna, gives birth to their daughter, Lisa. Steve refuses to acknowledge he is the father. September 12, 1985, fired by Apple. The first Macintosh computers were underpowered and expensive, and they had few software applications, which was the cause of its bad sales. This was eventually fixed, but since Steve Jobs didn't correct the problem quickly, he was kicked out of his own company. He quickly created Next Inc., which specialized in workstation computers. February 3rd, 1986, buys the future Pixar company. Steve Jobs buys the graphic group division of Lucasfilm for $10 million, improving it into the company we know of as Pixar Animation Studios. March 18, 1991, wedding. Steve Jobs marries Lauren Powell in a ceremony at the Awani Hotel in Yosemite National Park. Presiding over the wedding was Kobun Chino Otagawa, a Zen Buddhist monk. Their son, Reed, was born September 1991, meaning they were pregnant before the wedding, followed by daughters Aaron in 1995 and Eve in 1998. November 29, 1995 becomes Pixar's president. Steve Jobs became Pixar's president and CEO, and the company released Toy Story. The film earned $192 million at the box office, making it the first full-length feature film to be completely computer animated. December 10th, 1996, Apple buys back Steve Jobs. Apple endured huge financial losses due to the inability to improve their operating system, OS. They bought Next for $429 million for their OS called Next Step. Steve Jobs was hired as an advisor. July 9th, 1997, becomes Apple's CEO. Apple's previous CEO, Gilbert Emilio, struggled with the company's finances, which led to Apple's board of directors hiring Steve Jobs back. October 23, 2001. Say hello to iPod. After an eight-month crash development program, Steve Jobs unveils iPod at a small media event on the company's campus. He has no idea how it will transform Apple. April 28, 2003, Apple opens iTunes Store. Apple opens the iTunes Music Store and starts to revolutionize the music recording industry, one song at a time. At a time when getting music online mostly means illegal downloads from pirate services like Napster, iTunes quickly proved that customers would pay for songs, changing the music industry forever. August 1, 2004, pancreatic surgery. Steve Jobs undergoes surgery to remove a cancerous tumor in his pancreas, a problem that would eventually prove to be fatal for him. June 12, 2005. Stay hungry, stay foolish. 
Steve Jobs makes a memorable commencement speech at Stanford University. History will remember its closing remarks. Steve's advice to the young students, stay hungry, stay foolish. A quote from the last page of the Whole Earth Catalog from his youth. Stay hungry, stay foolish. It was their farewell message as they signed off. Stay hungry, stay foolish. And I have always wished that for myself. And now, as you graduate to begin anew, I wish that for you. Stay hungry, stay foolish. January 25th, 2006, sells Pixar to Disney. For $7.4 billion, Disney buys Pixar from Steve Jobs, as he joins Disney's board as its top shareholder. As of March 2011, Jobs owns 138 million shares of Disney, an estimated 7.29% of the company. January 9th, 2007. Welcome to iPhone. In his most memorable keynote presentation ever at Macworld 2007, Steve Jobs introduces iPhone and its revolutionary touchscreen interface. He also introduces Apple TV and announces the company's name change from Apple Computer Inc. to Apple Inc. to better reflect its nature. January 27, 2010. iPad is created. Apple released and sold 500,000 iPads during the first week on the market, which quickly became a very popular tablet, gaining 84% of the tablet market by the end of the year. August 24th, 2011. Retires and becomes Apple's chairman. This was Steve Jobs' last day being in complete charge of Apple Inc., before he took a less influential role as a chairman of the board. October 5th, 2011. Steve Jobs dies of pancreatic cancer. Jobs died in Palo Alto on October 5th, 2011 after battling pancreatic cancer for nearly a decade. He was 56 years old. In a eulogy for Jobs, sister Mona Simpson wrote that just before dying, Jobs looked for a long time at his sister, Patty, then his wife and children, then passed them and said his last words, oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet, death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. And that is as it should be, because death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart.